In previous discussion, we dealt into the intricacy of uh, air handling units recognizing their pivotal role in indoor air management. AHU primarily operate by recirculating air uh, within a premises either solely or in combination with fresh air intake. Regardless of the method, the air undergoes a series of crucial processing steps. This involves various air treatments including cooling, cooling combined with dehumidification, dehumidification potential causing overcooling requiring reheating, and cooling potentially causing over dehumidification necessitating humidification. These processes rely on heat exchangers employing either warm or cold agent for air processing. Moreover, monitoring and uh, regulating of air quantity and quality are paramount. Sophisticated AHU control systems such as uh, Supervisory Control and Data Acquisition SCADA play a vital role in achieving precise control and ensuring the desired air conditioning are maintained. In the previous video, we learned about how to control temperature and humidity, as well as factors that can potentially jeopardize the process of cooling, humidification, heating, or dehumidification. Today, I would like to delve into the critical aspect of environmental monitoring system, highlighting the vital importance of thorough validation and verification procedure after calibrating the instrument. It's crucial to underscore that mere calibration doesn't suffice to ensure compliance with good manufacturing practice GMP standard. We need to recognize that EMS is responsible for meticulously monitoring the environmental condition, particularly focusing on pressure cascade between rooms with varying grades. Validation of EMS involves demonstrating and documenting that the system consistently meets its predetermined specification and accurately measure the intended parameters within its operational environment. This process is sure the environmental monitoring system function reliably and produces data that can be trusted for decision making. If validation is inadequately performed or omitted altogether, the repercussion can be severe, extending beyond operational inefficiencies. Incorrect validation or worse, the absence of validation jeopardizes the integrity of the monitoring data. This compromised data can lead to misinterpretation or environmental condition within critical areas such as clean rooms or control manufacturing spaces. In turn, this can result in the release of batches based on inaccurate or unreliable measurements posing a significant risk to product quality, safety and efficiency. Moreover, from a legal perspective, using improperly validated or unvalidated measuring equipment can have serious consequences. Regulatory bodies such as FDA or MHRA or other equivalent authorities in other regions mandate a compliance with GMP guidelines to ensure product quality and patient safety. If batches are released based on erroneous or in inadequately validated data, a company can face legal ramification including fines, product recalls, litigation and damage to reputation. Therefore, meticulous validation and verification of EMS are not only critical for operational efficiency and data accuracy, but also for compliance with regulatory requirements and safeguarding for the legal standing of the organization. It's imperative that we uphold rigorous validation processes to instill confidence in EMS and the data it provides ultimately contributing to robust quality management system and overall success to our operations. In alignment with GMP standards, our protocol is robust when addressing HVAC faults, when a fault triggers an erroneous room pressure deviation due to environmental monitoring system displaying inaccurate data, the production room supervisor act promptly following an SOP guideline. This ensures efficient management of situation and event escalation maintaining compliance and operational efficiency. Environmental monitoring system it is composed by multiple parts like differential pressure modules, programmable logic control, front end panels and the tubes which links the differential pressure modules to the rooms. 
So if there's any fault related to EMS system, the HVACs may carefully investigate the issue utilizing calibrated tools for precise local measurement. A broken tube into the link between the differential pressure module and the affected rooms is identified during this investigation. This revelation is crucial insight for the root cause of the anomaly reinforcing the necessity for remedial action. In adherence to GMP principles, the HVACSMIC communicates this critical finding to the FEMS administrator highlighting the urgency of corrective measures. The FEMS administrator in line with their responsibility swiftly arranged for repair of compromised tube. This collaborative approach underscore our dedication to GMP adherence and equipment functionality, ultimately ensuring the integrity of our manufacturing process. Calibration and validation are crucial aspects of ensuring accuracy, reliability, and compliance with good manufacturing practices in a pharmaceutical industry. In the context of differential pressure module and the pharmagraph software utilized in the facility environment monitoring system, they play vital roles in maintaining quality and compliance. Calibration specifically focuses on confirming the accuracy of the DPM and its data interpretation within the pharmagraph software. The process involves aligning the display value of the front end panel with those of the calibrated tool. This validation step ensures that the DPM accurately measures differential pressure and transmits correct data to the pharmagraph software. However, Calibration alone might not identify faults in tubing that connects the DPM to the rooms. For comprehensive validation of FEMS, a verification test is essential. This test involves connecting the calibrated tool to the room's tube, allowing compression data of reading between the calibrated tool and the pharmagraph front end panel. Successful alignment in data reading validates the accuracy and reliability of FEMS. This validation process is a critical GMP factor in pharmaceutical industry. It provides assurance that FEMS can effectively regulate the air handling unit to meet the specific air quality and quantity requirement for each room. Compliance with GMP standards is fundamental to ensuring pharmaceutical products are produced under control and monitored condition meeting the necessary quality and safety standards.